Yo, what is going on everybody? Shri Kanasa here. So how to create custom audiences with Google Ads. Now custom audiences are literally one of the most important things that you can do when it comes to Google Ads simply because custom audiences allow you to play with the data which you already have in addition to using that same exact data to then create lookalike audiences and so forth. And the unfortunate thing is a lot of people that actually use Google Ads don't even know how to create these custom audiences let alone use them accurately. So in this video we're going to be going over exactly how to create them the right way and then the different ways that you can use these custom audiences within your campaigns but let's just get right into it the first thing you'll have to do in order to find any type of success with this video however is to destroy that like button until it turns blue i promise just gonna take two quick seconds okay hopefully you have destroyed the like button down below but creating custom audiences so exactly how do you go ahead and create these custom audiences in order to do this you're gonna have to go inside the audience manager section and you can find this by going directly to tools under tools you'll be able to find custom audiences under the shared library section you can just go ahead and click on audience manager it's the first option once you click on it you will come on this page now this page will look very different for you it looks like this for me because i have gone ahead and created a few different custom audiences and google has automatically created a few different custom audiences for me so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the custom audiences which google automatically creates for you once it has enough data to do so. The first one is this AdWords optimized list. As you can see, it says it's a combined audience based on available data sources, meaning it's a lookalike audience created by Google. Next one is all users of your store. It'll be shown right here and Google will create a custom audience of all the people who have visited your store previously and who continue to visit your store as of right now. And then the third one is the purchasers of your store. And this is followed by the shopping cart abandoners retail, which in parentheses, it says Google ads. That's the one that has been automatically created. The next one is all visitors. Again, parentheses, Google ads. Final one, all converters. These are some of the main audiences which Google creates for you in order to find in order for you to use them. And there are a few others. If you just scroll down, you will be able to see more audiences here, but we're not really paying attention to them because the main ones are the ones that are described here. Now, these are really great. And these are something you should definitely be using when running shopping campaigns or search campaigns but these are not enough unfortunately you'll have to create a few more in order to make the best out of these custom audiences as a whole and here are the few ones that you will have to go in and create yourself the first one is all visitors 90 days now normally i only like to create audiences like these with a certain time frame when i'm not really satisfied with the audiences google has created for us because as you guys can see google already has created an all visitors audience for you however it takes all of the audiences into account who may have even visited past the 90 day period and sometimes this can lead to a lot of faulty data if you really want to narrow down the time range of what you're looking at when it comes to the audience sizing you want to go in and create audiences like this yourself and, and one thing i like to do is create an all visitors 90 day audience because I like to take whoever visited my website within the past nine days and combine them into this one general audience right here. And same thing with cart abandoners. I don't like to just rely on the one Google has provided because I would rather only target people who abandoned their cart in the past 90 days. And again, this number can vary for you tremendously. Whatever you want to choose, you can go ahead and choose. I just like to stick to the 90 day period. But in order to create these custom audiences, all you have to do is click this plus button right here. Once you do that, you have several different options to choose from. You can choose website visitors, app users if you're running an app and advertising for an app. You can also do YouTube users if you're advertising via YouTube ads. You can do a customer list in case you want to upload a customer list from your Shopify store. And the last one is custom combination, meaning you can have different combos all together. For the purpose of this video, we're going to go ahead and choose website visitors because we want to be retargeting all visitors and those that abandon their cart. So here is where you go in and create the actual custom audience. You can name it whatever you want. I like to name it just whatever I'm trying to target. So for instance, in this case, it would be all visitors past 90 days. Once you name it, then you scroll down to the list member section here. Again, you have several different options to choose from, very similar to how you would do it with Facebook. If you want to choose a specific link on your website or a specific product, you can do so right here. And you can go as far as to choose an actual date as to when these people visited your website. For this example, we're going to go ahead and choose those visitors of a page. 
and from here we're going to enter the url of the website so in this case we're just gonna pretend it's google.com so that's what we'll do right here but once you type it in you'll see on the right that some options come up right here and it'll say something like cookies and what this is referring to is basically the number of people that google can attribute to this website link that you have just written right here and to the rules which you have just created right here and again you have the option to do it however you like but now here is the important thing right here you want to go down and go to the pre-fill options from here you want to either pre-fill this list with people who have already visited your website or you can start with an empty list completely and start brand new i like to choose the first option right here and keep it as it is but moving on to the next option now here is where you can go in and create specific membership duration as to how long you want a specific customer to be within this list and this is where i come in and write 90 because again i'm more interested in the 90 day period but you can go all the way up to 540 days so this is entirely again up to you you can change it however you like in my own experience i found more success with 90. once you do that go ahead and click description and here you can add an actual description to this audience meaning you can write a few things about it and note down exactly what audience this is for so that's completely up to you but once you do that go ahead and click create audience here and that is basically it you are perfectly good to go and it will be shown right here once you have created that audience now keep in mind that you may have various different messages for the audience which you just created like for instance right here since this is an example store it says too small to serve and it might say that for your audience as well regardless of how much audience size you actually have but that is completely normal because it does take some time for it to populate and it will do it over time so just let it do its thing and over time it will populate and as time goes on it will also take in new audience members and continuously fill it up within this list but you want to go in and do this for the all visitors audience as well as the cart abandonment audience now scrolling down a little bit we can see some of the other options which google has created for us such as general visitors product viewers past buyers and some similar lookalike audiences i normally don't create lookalike audiences in this section because you can create it within the custom audiences section but these are also other audiences which are available to you now this is exactly what you do under the remarketing list for the remarketing list i like to keep it to the people who i want to retarget basically and not really add any new audiences within this section but once you have done this now we can go on to the custom audience section and within this section we can create some custom audience audiences which act like look like audiences so here once you click the plus button you can see that we have two different options here the first one is people with any of these interests or purchase intentions and if you click right here you can basically type in whatever you want and then once you type it in you'll see all the search terms which people have used previously and you can basically target those search terms directly or you can choose the second option right here and again do something similar just like that and once you do that again search terms will come up right here which you can then target but you also have a few more options here like people who browse certain types of websites people you use certain types of apps or people who even visited certain places so these are amazing ways to create custom audiences when it comes to google ads and these audiences can actually be very very powerful if you know how to use them correctly but that is the custom audience section now let's move on to the last section which is combined audiences now combined audiences is basically exactly what it says it's going to help you combine various different audiences so let's say for example you want to combine the home and garden audience as a whole with the audience that is basically shoppers or basically people who love to shop on google ads and you can combine them together and as we can see right here the weekly impression it's estimated to be over 10 billion for these two audiences so amazing tool right here and this is exactly how you would go about creating custom audiences or retargeting again three different sections remarketing custom audiences and combined audiences you want to use all three but the main one that you should always focus on is the remarketing because that is what is the most important now let's see exactly how we can use these remarketing audiences or the other audiences which you just created so right now i'm inside of one of my main general testing campaigns for this store and we're inside the audiences section on the left so you want to just scroll down and click audiences section once you do that for you it will be empty but since i've already chosen the audiences for this section th this is what i see right here these are the specific few audiences which are directly targeted but the various different audiences that i have chosen right here are the following the first one is all visitors past 90 days second one just all users in general which is created by google as directly third one is the purchasers audience and the fourth one is people who abandon cart within the last 90 days 
First thing I want you guys to notice is the red message right here. So this red message will be shown for your audiences as well, especially if you just created them. But once your audience populates, once it has enough data, this will automatically go away. So you can't really do anything about it besides just keep on running ads. But if we scroll to the right, we can see that overall only one audience has spent the most money. And this is exactly how it's going to be on a normal basis. As mentioned, if your other audiences start to get enough data in a timely period, they're also going to start spending money. But until then, the audience with the most amount of individuals is the audience, which is actually going to be the one that's spending money. This audience right here got me two sales for a cost per conversion of 43 Australian dollars. This account right here is run in Australia. But what I want to show you guys is how to use these audiences, how to implement them right here. So what you want to do on your store is go ahead and click this pen button right here. For you, it may be a plus button, but go ahead and click on that. Once you click on that, this is the page that you will come to. Now you have two options here. You can either choose targeting, which means whatever campaign you have set up, it's only going to be targeting these individuals. The second option is observation, meaning it's going to be targeting these individuals within these audiences along with cold traffic, meaning it's going to try to get you new people and new eyeballs onto your products. If you are looking to retarget, then this second option is the best one for you, especially if you want to retarget within another campaign. So this is normally what I would recommend for you if you're looking to retarget. But once you have chosen that option, you want to go ahead and click the browse button right here. Once you click browse, you want to choose the last option right here, which is how they have interacted with your business. This is where you get to choose all of the audiences which you just created. And again, you will just want to open up the audiences right here and choose from all of the available options. This is entirely up to you, but this is exactly how you would create the custom audiences and remarketing audiences which you just created. But this is something I highly recommend you do for your Google Ads run Shopify store if you want the best results. But if you're looking for more one on one Google Ads help or one on one Google Ads mentoring, be sure to send me a message on Instagram at dedicated young. I do take on new students every single month. So just reach out to me on Instagram. But if you found any type of value in this video, smash that like button and smash that subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time.